Hi guys, so I'm back again with another DVD and Blu-ray update. This one is massive. I've just overspent just a little bit. Um, it has nothing to do with Black Friday since basically we don't really know that in our country. So, um, But it's just coincidence that it's being uploaded around the same time. Um, before I get started, however, I just really want to just quickly say thank you to... Waystorm, he has been a great fan here on YouTube, and he's been helping me to get stuff from the UK to Belgium, and has done that without complaining or anything. Um, he's just he has a really kind heart and has a really kind soul. Um, I just really quickly wanted to tell you something about what he does. He is an artist, um, and he is basically he does everything you can think of when it comes to being an artist. He uh, writes books, he's a comic artist, he makes animation um, series, um, he's um, busy with making a full animation feature, um, he does tons of stuff and um, just to show you a little bit uh, stuff for example is his um, new animation series it is the humor in this one is comparable with South Park so it's definitely not for little kids it's you know I mean be sure that you're at this age where you can watch it but it's definitely funny it's it's fun to watch you can even um, he's releasing them on DVD and blu-ray if you want to um, but you can definitely check out the first episode on YouTube so definitely do that if you have the time um, uh, his book series the fallen is very popular and is an award-winning basically a uh, horror noir series um, and just Another thing of his, and this is a comic book a series, and that's Jericho, so maybe you know him from this. Um, I have uh, quite a few comic books from Jericho, so and I really enjoyed them. So if you have the time, please check them out. It's um, Waystorm, or um, you can also find his stuff on reloadcomics.co.uk. Just... This is my way of saying thank you so much, Way, for helping me out. Um, then just, I'm gonna get into this huge uh, Blu-ray and DVD haul. I'm just gonna start with The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, I already had the US version, but I also now picked up um, the UK version of... Um, the Blu-ray of the first movie since um, only the second movie only got released in the US. Um, you know, this was the time where I decided, oh, let's uh, collect all of the Disney mov animated uh, movies, you know, even the sequels of the Disney classics. But basically, this is also the release that, you know, convinced me, bad idea, very bad idea. Um, the sequel of this is really bad. Um, and it just, you know, that's why I decided just to stop with that. But since I already picked it up, I was going to keep it. Um, I just picked up the UK version who has Dutch subtitles on it. So, yeah. Um, up next is uh, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, uh, 3D Extended Edition. Um, yeah, it will fit really nicely with the, uh, Unexpected Journey, I have the same edition um, from the first movie. Um, I paid a little bit more than I wanted to pay for this one, but it's some sort of a tradition. Last year, I picked up the first movie before I went to see the second movie in theaters. Same thing is going to happen, you know, the, the third movie is, is being released in theaters, and I'm going to watch um, the third movie pretty soon. Um, I just want to check out the first and second movie again because so much stuff happens in these movies it's unbelievable um, I just want to remember what really happened um, still think that The Hobbit could have been so much better if they just made two movies but I'm just not gonna ramble about that again um, I decided to only pick up the uh, extended editions, unlike what I did with the Lord of the Rings movies, because the extended editions really are not that extended, to be honest. The first one had 
13 minutes uh, extra. This one has, I think, around 25 minutes extra, so yeah. I'm just gonna pick up, you know, I'm only gonna pick up the extended edition, not gonna bother buying uh, the theatrical edition. But really happy that I have this one. Was a bit too expensive, but oh well. Um, the next is, um, I've been in this Winnie the Pooh vibe um, and decided for a long time I, f I thought, well, I'm gonna wait with buying these movies on Blu-ray because maybe when some miracle happens, they're gonna release them in my language on Blu-ray. I don't think that's gonna happen. Not anytime soon. And I was like, you know what? Let's be crazy. Let's just buy them. And um, this is the first one that I bought, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Could not remember a thing about it. I have seen the new uh, Winnie the Pooh um, when that one was released in theaters. I really have to pick that one up. But um, yeah, when I watched it, I'm a little bit disappointed. This is kind of boring. But I was also very tired, so maybe that's why I fell asleep during watching this. But I don't know. Yeah, but I, I, I'm still happy that I have it, but for example, the Tigger movie was a heck of a lot better. And seriously, Rue is definitely my favorite character. He is so cute, seriously. Yeah, I also picked up the Tigger movie, and last but not least, well, maybe least, but no. Um, Winnie the Pooh, Springtime with Rue. Um, still enjoyable. Um, people warned me that this was not the best Winnie the Pooh movie. Um, seriously, I had no clue <laughs> that this was basically um, a, a Christmas carol, but with Winnie the Pooh char uh, characters, until Tigger literally said, this is the Dickens story. And I was like, oh, right, now I see. So, no, not that well done to be honest um but it was enjoyable it was enjoyable could have been better but the tigger movie is definitely the best one out of the three that i picked up um very cute movie then up next jesus i bought so many tv shows on blu-ray this time unbelievable um something that you have to pick up downton abbey season three one of the greatest shows, um, seriously, everybody's talking about Game of Thrones, but Downton Abbey is the bomb, seriously, um, great show, sadly, I've been lacking time, so I've put it in this protection sleeve kind of thing, but as you can tell, it's still sealed, if you can tell it, yeah, maybe, um, but it's still sealed, I really, really want to watch it, but I'm lacking time, lacking time, as usual. Then I also picked up The Croods. Um, I really, really think DreamWorks is doing a great job. Um, sometimes their movies are not doing great in the box office, which I really don't understand because Shrek was huge and that, no offense, but that was really a bad movie. And now they're releasing stuff like um, uh, Rise of the Guardians, which is a br Seriously, it's one of the most beautiful animation movies that have not been released by Pixar or, or Disney. And it just, it did horrible in the box office. Um, the Croods is not the greatest production of DreamWorks, but I still enjoyed it. And I was like, oh, what the heck, I want to support DreamWorks because they are doing a great job. And that's why I picked it up. So yeah, definitely check it out if you haven't. Um, up next is Spartacus, Gods of the Arena. Um, I've only seen Spartacus Season 1, Blood and Sand. Um, just to give you an idea, that one was the first TV show that I ever picked on Blu-ray. Um, and since then, I just haven't continued watching the series because they've been super expensive if I wanted to have them with Dutch subtitles. And a family member of mine just isn't that great in, at English and um, she really wanted to watch these shows because she thought it was very enjoyable. So that's why I really wanted to have the Dutch editions. 
But my god, were they expensive. And uh, finally, after all those years, literally four years, <laughs> I finally found a copy of Gods of the Arena that was somewhat okay. The price was somewhat okay, so yeah. Um, but no, I still have to watch it because it just arrived like yesterday, but I'm really happy that I finally have it. Um, this is probably going to be a two-part um, update because I have a ton to show you. Up next is Supernatural Season 2. Oh my gosh. Um, where do I start? Uh, this is actually the UK edition. I bought this one brand new. But I had the hardest time to find a slipcover for this release because the second season got basically only in two countries in the whole world that they release a slipcover with this one and it was very difficult to find, seriously. Um, but I finally found it and um, yeah, so it matches in the collection. Uh, I have like six seasons of Supernatural but I was missing season two and thus I couldn't continue the show so that was a little bit ridiculous so I was like okay I really really need to pick up se the second season now um, but yeah I really look forward to continue watching the show I also picked up um, obviously uh, Supernatural season three uh, the UK edition with the beautiful slipcover um, this was one of the releases that Fwaystorm helped me with. Um, you know, it was extremely difficult to find a copy with a slipcover. Um, and it was even more difficult to find it with when if someone wanted to actually ship it to Belgium, where I live. So I could, just couldn't find anyone, so I had it shipped to a UK address. So, thank you so much. And then the third... Uh, Season that I picked up is actually season four, uh, second hand edition, and the slipcover is in a really bad shape, um, which I'm not happy about. It wasn't advertised as such, um, but okay, at least it has a slipcover, I guess. Um, yeah, sadly, season three and four were never released anywhere uh, with Dutch subtitles, so I just decided to pick up the UK editions with the nice look cover, so yeah. Um, up next is a favorite of mine, a Once Upon a Time, season three. Oh my gosh, I love this show for some reason. Uh, I know it's cheesy sometimes, but hey, sue me. Um, I had to have the lenticular slipcover, which is getting quite rare uh, nowadays, and um, that's why I paid the extra money, just to get a brand new copy. It didn't even have to be brand new for me, but I just had to have a copy with the actual lenticular slipcover. And I just want to say a big thank you to Sammy, aka Thaligar, because I asked him if he could look in the stores if they were actually still selling the lenticular slipcovers and he was immediately willing to help right away you know even suggesting to pick it up if he could find it without any worries you know without any hassle he I end up um, finding a copy with the lenticular slipcover because most of the um, copies in store in stores um, usually didn't have a slipcover or it was like the plain slipcover not the lenticular one um, but I just want to say thank you so much to Sammy for being so kind um, but yeah but this show is great it's cheesy but super great and awesome um, if you haven't watched it the first season is the best season so you might like that one best and definitely just watch it at least once you know um, but yeah really happy with it um, I'm just gonna finish this part now because um, yeah I'm running out of time I'm gonna co come back with a, uh, a few more items that I picked up um, I hope you've enjoyed this part so far and see you in the next part